The Battle of Ushant, also known as the Battle of Brittany, occurred on the early morning of 9 June 1944 and was an engagement between German and Allied destroyer flotillas off the coast of Brittany. The action came shortly after the initial Allied landings in Normandy. After a confused engagement during the night the Allies sank one of the German destroyers and forced another ashore, where she was wrecked. Background on 6 June 1944, the day of the first landings in Normandy, the remnants of the German 8th destroyer flotilla, consisting of the Type 36 AZ-24 and Z-32, and the Z-H-1 were ordered by Vizy Admiral Theodore Cranker to sail from the Gironde to Brest. The order was intercepted by the British which detailed Canadian Bristol bow fighters from Rayef Coastal Command to attack the German ships as they sailed through the Bay of Biscuit. In the ensuing raid, the destroyer Z-32 was slightly damaged. The German ships made port at Brest, where Z-24 and Z-32 had their anti-aircraft armament increased. They then put to sea again on 8 June in company with the Flot and Torpedo Boot 1939-class torpedo boat T-24, the sole survivor of the 4th torpedo boat flotilla, bound for Cherbourg under the command of Theodore von Bechtolsheim, where they would reinforce German positions. The Allied forces learned of the German intentions through ultra-intercepts and detailed the 10th destroyer flotilla to intercept the German ships as they sailed up to the English Channel. The 10th destroyer flotilla was at this time under the overall command of Captain Basil Jones, who had his flag aboard the tribal-class destroyer HMS Tartar. With him were HMS Ashanti, Eskimo and Javelin, the Canadian ships HMCS Haider and Huron, and the Polish vessels ORP Pyron and ORP Bliskawika. Jones decided to split his flotilla in two. The 19th Division consisted of the Eskimo, Javelin, Pyron and Bliskawika. The 20th Division consisted of Tartar, Ashanti, Huron and Haider. Engagement the British flotilla were moving westward down the channel when the German ships were detected by radar just after 100 on 9 June. Jones turned his force to meet the Germans, who were by now 30 miles east-northeast of the Ile de Bats. The two flotillas clashed intermittently thereafter, exchanging gunfire and salvos of torpedoes. Tata was struck several times, but was able to put out fires and restore her speed. ZH-1 was then engaged by both Tata and Ashanti, with Ashanti launching two torpedoes at point-blank range. One struck ZH-1, blowing off her bows. With the ship crippled, her captain, Klaus Barkov, gave the order to abandon ship, then scuttled her with depth charges at 240. Barkov was among the 39 killed. 28 managed to reach France. The remaining 140 were picked up by the British. Hader and Huron had meanwhile been pursuing Z-24 and T-24 until the German ships ran into a British minefield. The Canadians attempted to detour around it, but eventually lost the Germans. Z-24 and T-24 regrouped with the intention of returning to engage the British but finding they were not being followed, they left the area. Hader and Huron returned to the scene and came across von Bechtolsheim's Z-32, which had received a heavy pounding and lost contact with the rest of the Germans. There was some confusion over establishing each other's identity, but when the Canadians discovered she was a German ship they opened fire. Von Bechtolsheim fled at high speed, but Z-32, having sustained heavy damage, was driven ashore on the Ile de Bats and wrecked.